I sure will. Are you ready, Luce? Yep. Okay, here we go. Red nose reader, red nose reader, here I am, here I am, reading pumpkin stories, reading pumpkin stories. Let's be friends, let's be friends. Red nose reader, red nose reader, here I am, here I am, sharing joy and kindness, sharing joy and kindness. Let's be friends, let's be friends. Red nose reader, red nose reader, here I am, here I am, spreading smiles and laughter, spreading smiles and laughter. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Lucy, that was wonderful. Thank you. I have a question for you. What? Today, when you were singing the song, you said pumpkin story. Yeah. Why did you do that? Well, because it's pumpkin time. It's time to harvest the pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. It's autumn. That's what you do. Oh, if we had all those pumpkins from the pumpkin patch, what would you do with them? Oh, golly gee, there's so many things to do with pumpkins. I'd make pumpkin stew, pumpkin soup, roast pumpkin seeds, mmm, mmm, make pumpkin pie, and my favorite, I carve a face in a pumpkin. That's called a Jack-o-lantern. Jack-o-lantern, jack-o-lantern, you are such a funny sight. As you sit there in the window, looking out at the night. You were once a yellow pumpkin, growing on a sturdy vine. Now you are a jack-o-lantern, see your candlelight shine. Oh, I love pumpkins! You know what I think we need to do? What? I think we need to go to a pumpkin patch. <gasps> a pumpkin patch! A pumpkin patch! Oh my goodness, we're going to a pumpkin patch! Kids, we're going to a pumpkin patch! I think you're going to have to go back down in your little bag and get all ready, and then we'll get all set to go, okay? All right, I'll, I'll see you a little bit later, kids. We're going to the pumpkin patch! Hi, kids. I guess we're going to the pumpkin patch. Um... I have some pictures here of a pumpkin patch so we can really pretend and make it feel like we're in a pumpkin patch. Look at my pictures here. There we go. All right. Are you ready, Luz? Yeah. She's all set down there. Down to the pumpkin patch we go, riding in a wagon, bouncing to and fro. In the spring, the farmers take pumpkin seeds and they plant them in the ground. And in the fall, we see pumpkins lying all around. Hmm, I'm looking to find just the right one. Oh my goodness, picking a pumpkin is so much fun. I see... A round one. Oh my goodness. And what do
in that square. One that's still green. A ghost pumpkin. A red nose pumpkin. Oh my gosh. And one that's cute as can be. Oh my goodness sakes. I have to look again. Oh my goodness. See, I see a pumpkin with a funny face. A pumpkin with a grin. I'll have to look around to make sure I find the one that I need. Oh my goodness, I'll have to look around again. Then over in the corner, in the corner right next to the garden wall, I see the biggest pumpkin of them all. I'll take it home and Lucy can carve how cute little pumpkin face and cheer because she loves pumpkin time and pumpkin time is here. Oh my goodness sakes. Look at all of these pumpkins. They're all different shapes and whoopsie and colors and sizes. Isn't this one cute? This little square one right here. It reminds me of a story that I read. Hey! Oh my gosh, I forgot. We gotta bring Lucy up to show her pumpkin. I'm sorry, just a minute, just a minute. I'll get Lucy. I'm coming, Luz. Yeah, I wanna show my pumpkin. Oh my goodness, look. Oh, hi kids. Don't you love my pumpkin? Isn't it cute? I love it. It is, but Lucy, you know what? You have to be careful. Why? Well, because you... You are trying to lift it up by its peduncle. Peduncle? What's a peduncle? Well, the peduncle is the stem here. Uh, uh, some people call it a handle too. Oh, yeah, and they're very fragile. And if you pick it up just by that, it could fall to the ground and it could break and your pumpkin would get smashed. Oh, no! I'm not going to hold it by the peduncle then. No, hold it underneath. Boys and girls, hold yours underneath too. Do you know what? I was just telling them that this little pumpkin in the pumpkin patch, oh, it's cute, isn't it? Yeah, but it's different. Yeah, it is different. But I have a little story today about a square pumpkin that's different, but it's very special. Oh, so I was thinking that maybe... You take your pumpkin down. I want to carve it now. No, we can't carve it now because we're doing this show. We'll do it after the show. But you can take your pumpkin with you down and you can listen to the story down there and then come back up so you can say bye to the kids afterwards. Oh, okay. But I can take the pumpkin with me? Yeah, you can take your pumpkin with you. And remember, we're going to hold on underneath. Yeah, not the peduncle, kids. Nope, not the peduncle. Oh, as per kind of scary, wasn't it? I'm going to hold on tight. Yep, we'll take it down. Yep, we'll take it right down here, Luce. Yep, we'll take it right down there. The story that I'm going to read today is called The Legend of Spookly, the Square Pumpkin, and it's written by Joe Troiano. And he wrote it uh, for his little boy. First of all, when this little boy was younger, he wanted a story told to him that wasn't scary. So his dad told him this story about Spookly the Pumpkin. And then he put it in writing so that he could publish this book. One day in the pumpkin patch, the strangest little pumpkin hatched. Spookly wasn't like his friends, where they had curves, he had ends. Spookly was different. He was odd. He was rare. Spookly the pumpkin wasn't round. He was square. While the round pumpkins had fun rolling along, poor Spookly just sat shaped all wrong. He tried and he tried with all of his might, but he couldn't budge. He just sat tight. The other pumpkins teased him because he was square. Spookly wished he was round and could roll everywhere. 
That is, until one night when they all discovered it's fine to be round when the weather is fair, but there are times it's better to be square. Halloween was just a day away. What a mighty storm blew across the bay. It tossed the round pumpkins to and fro. It snapped their vines, then off they'd go. Bouncing left, slamming right, banging, bashing, what a sight. Spookily sat there filled with fright, but glad to be square that night. Suddenly, the fence gave way. Three pumpkins rolled out into the bay. Oh no. Spugly, spunks, sorry, Spookly knew what must be done. It was up to him. He was the one. He teetered, he tottered, he tipped, he tried. He finally flipped. He was on his side. Again he tipped. Again he flopped. Again he flipped. And then he stopped. Right in the gap where the fence had snapped, he blocked the way. The hole was capped. All the pumpkins shouted, Hooray! Spookly the square pumpkin has saved the day. Then a pumpkin, pumpkin hit him with a whack. He thought his shell would start to crack. Then another one hit him with a thump and another one with a smack. Then one by one, a ton of pumpkins piled on the stack with a bang and a bash and a crunch and a crash. And then at all at once, it went black. Well, they've got him pretty much buried in there, don't they? At dawn, when the storm had stopped, the farmer came out and checked his crop. He picked his pumpkins up one by one and laid them out in the warm, dry sun. And when the last one was moved away, the farmer could see what had saved the day. An odd-shaped pumpkin, short and dense, was wedged against the broken fence. Its shell was bruised, its stem was too, but there was brave little Spookly sitting straight and strong and true. Right then and there, the farmer knew of all the seeds he'd ever sown, Spookleys were the most special that had ever grown. And the next year, when it was time to sow, he sowed those seeds in every row. He watered and weeded and watched them grow. And oh, the morning about mid-June, when the pumpkin patch began to bloom, there were tiny pumpkins everywhere, hundreds and hundreds, most of them square. But some were cubes and some were rectangular, some were flat and others triangular. There was a bed of bright red ones and two rows of blue. There were polka dot pumpkins and rainbow ones too. There were thousands of colors and hundreds of shapes. Oh, what a garden variety makes. Now every year at Halloween, Spookley's patch is quite a scene. People come from far and near to see what wonders grew that year. They stop, they gawk, they gaze, they stare. Then they pick up a pumpkin that's round, triangular, or perfectly square. Now you know the story of how Spookly grew. Maybe someday you'll tell someone too. And they'll go tell someone who go tell another. And maybe one day we will all discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover. What a nice little story about this nice little square pumpkin. And though it was different and some of the other pumpkins were not very nice to him. It saved the day. And they looked at him in a different way. Uh, they looked at him as being special. I have a little song I'd like to sing to you about Spookily the pumpkin. This winter, when we were all sheltered in, I decided I would try to learn how to play the ukulele. In Hawaiian, they call it a ukulele. Um, but mine isn't a ukulele, and it's not an ukulele. It's a... Ch 
shikalele. <laughs> this is dumpling up here, dumpling. And dumpling likes to go bonk, 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 bonk. Let's do that again. Bonk, 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 bonk. Can you guys do it with me? Bonk, 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 bonk. I think that she's ready to, to play and, and to sing. All about Spookly. Oh, once there was a pumpkin, a pumpkin, a pumpkin. Oh, once there was a pumpkin with no curves at all. With ends, he was odd, he was rare, he was square. Oh, once there was a pumpkin with no curves at all. The other pumpkins teased him, they teased him, they teased him. The other pumpkins teased him because he was square. One night he saved him, his odd shape had saved them. Spookly was the most special pumpkin of all. All of you are special, are special, are special. All of you are special in your own unique ways. With kindness and acceptance and include everybody. The things that make you different make you special too. Each and every one of you is special. October is... Um, bully Prevention Month. And we're supposed to think about not bullying kids all year round. But October is kind of a special month and Spookly is the spokesperson for anti-bullying because he wants you to remember that each one of us is special even though we're different and we have special and unique things to share and to give everybody. And his message is to be kind to everybody to include everybody when you're playing outside at recess and um, to accept everybody for how they are because all of us are unique and special in our own ways. Uh, Lucy, do you want to come out and show us, uh, sing, sing your goodbye song to us? Uh-uh. Lucy, you always want to come out and, and talk with us and no, no. I better go check out and see why she's not wanting to come up here. Kind of makes me a little nervous. Doesn't it make you a little nervous? I'll be back in just a minute. Luz, uh -uh, I don't want to come up. Lucy, you need to come up. I don't want to. But but the kids are waiting. They want to see you before we say goodbye. Okay. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Lucy, what did you do? What? Well, what did you do? Uh-oh. I held it by the peduncle and, and it, it kind of fell in it. My pumpkin smashed all over the place and I got pumpkin boogers on me. Lucy, those are not pumpkin boogers. Yes, they are. They're pumpkin boogers. No, those that's called pulp. That's what's in the inside of it. It's awful. It's disgusting. Well, it kind of looks that way, but it really isn't. It's not. No, this pumpkin pulp can be used to make pumpkin pies. Oh, and all these seeds that are down here. Yeah, we can roast those. Oh, oh, so you see, it might be different. It sure is different. But it's still very special, and we can use it for something. Oh, okay. That's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. It's it's special because I like pumpkin pie. And, you know, maybe we need to sing our goodbye song. Yeah, and then um, we'll go clean you up and make some pumpkin pie. Okay, and remember, kids, don't hold on to that peduncle because I'm in a mess. I think you need to sing our goodbye song. Okay. Now's the time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. 
Now's the time to say goodbye to my red nose reader friends. Bye, everybody. See you next month. I'll tell you how good the pie was. And, um, um, oh gosh, this stuff is, oh my gosh. Yeah, oh my gosh is right. It's, it's a mess, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I better clean up. I'll say goodbye. I love you, kids. Bye-bye. See you next month. Hey, stay safe and well. Say goodbye, ladybug. <laughs> goodbye, ladybug. No! You just say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. I'll see you. See you next month. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye! Mm-hmm.